If you were a Georgia fan in the 1990s, Steve Spurrier was the face of misery. Spurrier wore his hatred for Georgia proudly, and he went 11-1 against the Bulldogs while coaching the Gators from 1990 to 2001. Before he ever became the coach at Florida, Spurrier was a star quarterback for the Gators. He won the 1966 Heisman Trophy, and for most players, that might be enough. For Spurrier, 1966 is also when his hatred for Georgia became fully cemented. Let's flash back to November 5th of that year. Spurrier and the Gators rolled into Jacksonville for their annual matchup with Georgia undefeated and looking for the school's first ever SEC championship. The Gators went up 7-0 after an 86-yard touchdown drive to start the game. Down 10-3 late in the third quarter, Georgia's rushing attack started to come alive. A Bulldog touchdown tied the score at 10, and all the eyes in the stadium started to turn towards the Heisman favorite who had a knack for fourth quarter comebacks. Unfortunately for Steve, this wouldn't be his day. Spurrier's second interception of the second half was run back for a touchdown by Georgia defensive back Lynn Hughes, giving the Bulldogs a 17-10 lead. Simply put, Spurrier never forgot about it. The Bulldogs would continue to control the game with their rushing attack and defense, and they would get the ball back one more time, with just a few seconds remaining. That's when Georgia twisted the knife. With only a second left on the game clock, Bulldog quarterback Kirby Moore launched himself in the end zone for a final touchdown. Georgia 27, Florida 10. When he became the coach at Florida, Spurrier used every opportunity he got to get even with the Bulldogs. His fun and gun offense changed college football. Nobody could seem to stop it, including Georgia. In 1994 and 1995, the Georgia-Florida series came to campus while the Gator Bowl was under construction. The 95 Georgia team included a face you might recognize, a young defensive back out of Bainbridge by the name of Kirby Smart. He wore the number 16, and you can see him in this next clip. Smart was in with all the other backups as Florida led 38-10. Late in the fourth quarter, the Gators continued to move the football down the field and eventually scored to make the score 45-10. This wasn't exactly unexpected. Spurrier loved to twist the knife on Georgia whenever he was given the opportunity. He even called Georgia head coach Ray Goff, Ray Goof. Where the outrage came was with a minute and 10 seconds remaining on the clock. That's right. Up 45 to 17, Spurrier called a reverse pass. A few moments later, Florida became the first team to ever score 50 points on Georgia in Sanford Stadium. Here's the play. And guess who that is? Yep, that's right. Number 16, Kirby Smart, the current Georgia head coach. Spurrier's hatred for Georgia was born out of that late touchdown back in 1966. Is it possible that he gave birth to a similar type of force, this time in red and black? After the game, Steve was unapologetic about what had happened. Somebody told me they'd never scored 50 against Georgia here, and our guys won to score 50. In 2016, Kirby Smart returned home to Athens to become the UGA head coach. I firmly believe that you can take and develop players and you can show improvement within a team, and we need to do that here. Smart quickly built Georgia into a powerhouse, appearing in the national championship game in his second season and winning back-to-back -back national titles in 2021 and 2022. In that second season, the Dogs blew the Gators out 42-7. That was Smart's first win over Florida, and since then, it's become clear that the Georgia-Florida game is not just another game on the schedule to Kirby Smart. He'll dance in the locker room with his players. He'll celebrate with fans. Like Spurrier, he seems to take a little extra pleasure in winning this game. Smart has also made the rivalry more one-sided in Georgia's favor than it has been since before Spurrier arrived as the head coach in Gainesville. Unlike Spurrier, he's remained respectful to the guy on the other side. A lot of respect for Billy. I always uh, have um, liked Billy a lot. He does a really good job um, as a football coach, as a man, person. Despite that, occasionally the fire that Smart has for beating Florida will shine through. FTMF has become a Bulldog fan rallying cry in the years since the 2018 Georgia-Florida game. While all rivalries have plenty of hate, Georgia and Florida's ire for one another seems to self-perpetuate in a unique way. Former Georgia head coach Vince Dooley won 15 out of 20 against the Gators in the 70s and 80s, but it was his win over Florida in 1966 that spawned Spurrier's hatred. Spurrier's hatred fueled a decade of Gator dominance in the 1990s, 
but that same hatred caused him to call a reverse pass with a minute 10 left while leading by 28 points in Sanford Stadium. The kid playing safety that day probably never forgot it. And when he looks across the field on Saturday in Jacksonville, Kirby Smart will want to break the Florida Gators. Physically, physically, I want to break them. Break these bitches on defense and offense. 